What is a protein skimmer? And how does it work? As you can see here in our sump, we have a couple different protein skimmers. And we do that just for backup. If one happens to go down when we're not paying attention, the other's still working. So it's just overkill on our part. Most situations, you don't need to run two skimmers, but in our situation, we like to run everything with backups. Now the key with any protein skimmer is the bubbles. You want to get as many bubbles as possible. What happens are the proteins suspended in your water column are attached to the bubbles, they're brought to the surface of the skimmer, and skimmed off the top. If I open up this skimmer here, we can see the bubbles forming in the top. What happens is those protein molecules attach to those bubbles They'll overflow the top of the skimmer just slightly and create the skimming. And that's the green slimy stuff you see at the bottom of your skimmer. Here's an old skimmer that we used to have in service. We don't need more. Still works, uh, but it's just not big enough for our system. But let's examine it a little closer. Uh, what we have here is we have the collection cup, we have the main chamber, this is where the bubbles uh, accumulate, come up to the surface, attract that uh, protein. Down below, we come over here, we've got the pump down here. This little line that you see here goes all the way up, that's your air inlet line. That's where your bubbles are generating from. Over here on the side, we have a control on the output. This dictates how much water is coming out of the protein skimmer, so we can adjust the level. Let's examine the pump first. If I knock the sucker over and re yank on this, we've got a pump. So here's our dirty pump. If we take off the end of the pump, as so, we've got the air intake here. As the pump is running, it is sucking water into the, into the intake side, but it's also sucking air into it. It's pumping it out here, which goes directly into the bottom of our particular skimmer here. Like this skimmer here, you can even tell the pump's on the outside of it. They can come various uh, different models, and each one's slightly different, but the basic operation is very similar. This happens to be a needle wheel impeller, which are very good. They also have mesh wheels and such. Uh, they all do a similar job. I like the needle wheels because it manages to break the bubbles up into very small, tiny bubbles, which helps uh, to work a little more efficiently than the older models. The pump is continuing to push the air and the water into the main chamber of your skimmer and the air continues to want to arise, very small bubbles, to get that foaminess at the top. When adjusting your skimmer, you want to adjust so the bubbles are breaking right near the surface. Oftentimes new skimmers will need to be broken in for a few days. But once they're broken in, that's the proper level, and you want to accumulate a little bit of skimmate every day. I like to take about a cup out of here on a daily basis and I'll adjust the outflow of the skimmer to adjust the level of the bubbles in the cup.